Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Vexelay, and today I'm bringing you another episode of our WWE 2K17 Universe Mode. We just had an amazing Raw where Finn Balor took his championship back and Charlotte took her championship back. But we are going to be on SmackDown Live this time where, once again, we haven't had a pay-per-view for SmackDown Live yet. But we do have a new member on the SmackDown Live roster, Emma. Emma has signed with SmackDown Live, and she wanted to take on Becky Lynch. And Becky Lynch said, are you sure about that? Like like the John Cena meme. And Becky Lynch was in the Fatal 4-Way for the Women's Championship, which she did lose. She wasn't pinned, but she did lose. So, Emma wanted to take her on to prove that she can beat someone that was in the championship match, and that cause she, she could be a future champion at one time. So, there we have Emma, and next we have Becky Lynch. See, both, this match is very important to both women because if Emma can win, this proves that maybe she could be a future SmackDown Women's Champion, but if Becky Lynch loses, this can, like, you know, really, like, seriously hurt her look. Losing the championship match and losing to the to Emma, the new the new member of the SmackDown Live roster. This match is very important for both. Both need to win, and both are going to be fighting at their hardest, presumably or assumably. I don't even know what presumably means. Emma's going to be missing the cross body, but going up top and hit the splash. Can she go up top, top? Oh yes, she can. She's going to go up top. And she hits again. Okay, Becky Lynch is going to counter. Okay, got her. Got her in submission, kind of. Becky Lynch is going to take, be taking over this match. Oh, but Emma, Emma does get the counter, grabbing her leg and grab, pulling her to the ground. I suck at talking. Looks like Emma is taking ahead of this match. And Becky Lynch barely getting any offense in. She sure does like going up top, but you know what? She's going to spice things up. She's going to throw her out of the ring. And she's going up top. That's not good for either if she... She hit. Oh my god. And she's not done. Emma... Emma Emma's proving that she she wants to represent and be on Team Blue. Who knows what's broken in there? No kidding. This could be really serious. Targeting the legs. Becky Lynch is gonna counter, kicking her to the ground. Emma's gonna counter too. Four. Becky Lynch just can't seem to get any offense in for herself. Oh, Five. she does counter and brings Emma down to the floor. And drop kick to the back. She's I like that. I love when a diva experiments. Ooh, throwing her next to the ring, not in. She's gonna help her get up or rat an eight count here. Ooh, Emma's throwing her into the ring. She wants to win in the ring. Becky wants to starting to take control of this match. Almost getting a double count out right there but that isn't what that's not what happened Emma counter and got her into the ring ooh Shazer in a submission is Emma gonna tap is Emma gonna tap no Emma's not going to tap she's gonna get out of the hold Emma sure does like going up to the top rope oh but it didn't pay off for her this time it is called high risk she's gonna move out of the way at the last second though doesn't matter because Becky Lynch is gonna take control right after Putting her into the corner. Strikes. Putting her up on the top. Uh oh, what she got in mind? What is she doing? She's up there with her. Ooh, that's hot. Um Oh my god, sending her like to the other side of the ring. This is about any women's match right now. Right to the face. Both women need this win. It's anyone's win right now. It's an even matchup so far. Becky Lynch has her signature. Did she? Did her signature get countered? Did Emma counter? Emma did counter the signature. Let's see. Corner. Seated running straight. Oh. 
What's the back end going to do? German suplex. Bending her in half. Oh. What's she doing? Dragging her into the ring. In the middle of the ring. Stomping on her arm. Oh. Counter for Emma. She has her finisher. Is she going to hit it? Oh. She countered her finisher. She countered her finisher. Oh my god. She countered her finisher. Becky Lynch has a signature. This could be the end of Emma. This could be the end of Emma right here. With a suplex. She has her finisher now. Becky Lynch has her finisher. She's going to stand there. She appears to be extra slow regaining her base. Emma just can't counter drop kick to the face. This could be it. This could be it. Becky Lynch is going for the finisher. Let's see. Can she hit the disarm her? Oh. She has a locked in. 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 Is she going to tap? Is Emma going to tap? Is Emma going to tap? Is that it? Is she going to tap? Is she going to tap? Oh my god, she's so close. She does not tap, though. She was at the verge of tapping, but she does not tap. She never gives up. Oh, misses. They both just missed their moves right there. Emma almost just submitted to Becky Lynch. But Emma realized how much this match means. She can't quit that easily. It's going to take a lot more than that to get Emma down. One, two, Emma goes for the count. Only gets a one count, actually. I don't think she's gonna be able to stand after that. Ooh, elbows to the midsection and a kick to the face from Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is gonna be going up top, it seems. What is she going for? What is she gonna be going for up there? Oh, but she's gonna move out of the way at the last second. That has to hurt Becky Lynch. Sending Becky Lynch over the ropes. Uh oh, Emma's going to be going up top again. Just like Becky Lynch just did, but can it pay off? Is it going to pay off? Can't she reach from out there? Oh my god, she moves out of the way. Did you not see how far away that was? And Emma just gets right to her feet. This shows how much Emma really wants this. Oh, catches the fist. And pulling her to the ground. Oh, Emma's going for the pin. What the hell? She has her feet on the rope. One. Oh, my God. The ref didn't even see it. She still kicks out at one, though. Ooh. Drop kicks to the back. Becky Lynch has a comeback. That's not good for Emma. Ooh, counter for Emma. Misses the drop kick. Punches to the back. Becky Lynch has her signature. Oh, she hits the signature. She hits the signature. She has her finisher. Is she going to hit the disarmor? Is Emma going to tap out this time? No, she's going to wisely roll out of the ring. It's Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch follows her. Probably wasn't the smartest idea as she falls to the ground. Targeting the leg of Becky Lynch. And the arm. And the arm again. She does not want her to hit that finisher because if she does, it might be the end of her. The stomp to the face. And an elbow. Uh oh. Don't tell me she. Has Emma not learned her lesson? This hasn't paid off for the last two times, I think. But can she hit it now? She hits it! Emma's going to be sending her back into the ring, but not without a few punches and slaps first. Both women inside the ring. This is anyone's match at this point. Whip into the corner. Let's see, Emma's going to be going for... Corner seated running straight. She's gonna need to dig down deep if she wants to keep going now. Oh, she's not set up for it apparently. I don't know, see like how do you get them to sit down in the corner though? That's a thing. Like here, I'm gonna send you into the corner, you're gonna fall right away, aren't you? Wait, no. This time she's gonna counter. 
Oh, roll over. Roll over to Becky Lynch. Oh my god. Is she going to hit one, two? Oh my god. Emma almost gets almost gets the rollover victory. That would have been huge. Uh oh. Oh, it's not going to pay off with a knee to the face, sending her to the outside. Oh, sending her into the ring. Elbows. And a leg drop on the apron. You know that's the hardest part of a ring, right? Oh, rolling out of harm's way. Slamming her to the ground. Emma's trying to hit her signature, it's just that whoever's controlling her doesn't know how to hit it. So, sent back into the ring. Slaps to the ears. Deafening her. That, has, that really has to mess with your vision, or hearing. God, I'm stupid. Alright. Irish whip into the corner, a burst. Oh, what the hell was that, Becky Lynch? Oh. Emma has her finisher. What's her finisher? Standing in front? Oh. No counter. Both women have their finishers. Who can capitalize first? She goes for the cover. Not even the one count. Emma kicks out. Who can hit their finisher first? Drop kicks to the back from Becky Lynch. Uh oh. She's going for a finisher. Can she counter? Can she counter? No counter. No counter. She's going to. She did counter. She did counter the finisher. She's going for her finisher now. This could be it. This could be it for Becky Lynch. And she hits it. Going for the cover right after. Can Emma pull her first victory? One. Two. Three. Emma wins her SmackDown Live debut. In an amazing women's match. Good job to Emma, but Becky Lynch has some explaining to do. That was Becky Lynch's match, but Teen Ambrose has defeated John Cena and Randy Orton on past SmackDown Lives. And tonight, he's going to request a match against the WWE Champion, AJ Styles. And if Dean Ambrose can pull this victory, that means a lot. He just might get a world title shot. If Dean Ambrose can win this tonight. But. Let's see. There's Dean Ambrose. And then we have the phenomenal. AJ Styles. And a very. Very competitive matchup tonight. Dean Ambrose. AJ Styles. Let's go. Both men eager to start off the matchup. Dean Ambrose starting with a body slam. And what, what the hell? Randy Orton. Randy Orton's making his way down to the ring. Dean Ambrose is not going to be distracted. Who's he supporting? What the hell? Randy Orton has come to support AJ Styles. I guess... He's going to be attacking Randy Orton. This is almost like a two-on-one matchup right now. I guess Randy Orton is upset after losing the championship match and losing to Dean Ambrose. This just doesn't make sense. Why would he support the champion? Maybe he's not supporting the champion, just not supporting Dean Ambrose after beating him in the championship match, even though AJ Styles won. Randy Orton still lost and losing to him last SmackDown too. Maybe Randy Orton just can't take it. And Dean Ambrose is going to get distracted as AJ Styles takes over the match from Randy Orton. But we're at a five count. He's going to send him into the barricade. AJ Styles is just relentless, but he catches the leg. And a big clothesline. And the AJ Styles counters. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I was in the crowd. It, they're at a nine count. Is AJ Styles... AJ Styles runs into the ring. Is Dean Ambrose going to get up? AJ Styles wins with the help of Randy Orton. What the hell just happened? Okay, so let's just recap what just happened. 
Dean Ambrose lost the championship match on the first ever SmackDown, right? So then after that, he challenges John Cena. He fairly beats John Cena. He then challenges Randy Orton. He fairly beats Randy Orton. And tonight, he wants a match against the champion. And Randy Orton maybe is just upset that Dean Ambrose beat him and that he's not the champ. So he comes out, screws over Dean. It was basically a two-on-one situation. And AJ Styles is going to take advantage of the distraction. And Dean Ambrose is going to get counted out. That was a very, very insane main event. Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose. That was insane. Wait, Randy Orton... Randy Orton wasn't even in the ladder match. I just realized Randy Orton wasn't even in the ladder match. Maybe that's maybe that's why Randy Orton's upset. Maybe Randy Orton wants a title. T maybe An Randy Orton wants a title shot, maybe. He's just upset that Dean beat him. Who knows? Who knows what's going through that head of Randy Orton's hearing all them voices. Can't trust can't trust a viper like him, but either way. That was a very good episode of SmackDown Live. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.